Ah, uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. It's Chinese Food Week. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. This is Jameson. It's a gold. Okay, so surely we've done Jameson before. We have, but this is from Derek Bell. Mm -hmm. Dude, really? The Chinese food right next to me? I'm trying to, I'm trying to smell whiskey here. Mm -hmm. This is super irresponsible. I'm doing a different episode. We're supposed to be objective. I'm doing a different episode than you. You're mixing biscuits with vault. No, I am doing a Chinese food whiskey pairing episode. Oh, so so that's the first one I'll try. Does. I propose a change. Did you see how fast that I did that? No, it was wonderful. Level four. After I turned I'm the level mic four now. a little bit. <laughs> okay. That just happened. Oh, by the way, Derek Bell. Derek Bell! Right. You magnificent bastard. I propose a change. Nah, son of a bitch. I just already you're you're on board with it. I propose we begin every episode with first impressions. I'm not talking about the background or the story, just okay. Without knowing anything really about the whiskey, well, at least me not knowing because you've done the research, going into it and figuring out what we think because I suspect. That a lot of what you're talking about in the background and the history and the story affects the taste. Affects for you. what I am um, looking for and finding. So you're saying you're easily manipulated? I'm saying shut up and pour me the whiskey as quickly as possible. I just did. And I'm doing yes, well done. <laughs> and I'm presenting this idea within the elaborate ruse of let's do first impressions. Yeah, so that I can drink whiskey sooner rather than later. Pretty much. Okay, so first impressions. It's, a, it's straight up Jameson, but it's a little more rich than the typical Jamesons. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting closer to sort of the meteor red breasty kind of Is direction. it too early to compare? I think, yeah, it's too early. <laughs> and we got other comparisons later, so okay. we're gonna pace yourself, man. I'm thinking that- Oh, damn, There's dude. pot still in this, not just, I mean, I know there's pot still in this, not just grain. For the record, yes, I am eating food, it's lunch. Daniel takes his notes so seriously, he will go hungry. I won't. Yeah, I'm waiting to eat lunch till after this. Uh, but I will tell you, me kind of halfway joking about a Chinese food pairing episode. Damn. I'll bet that whiskey goes. It good goes with amazingly food. well with it. There's so much richness, that buttery, savory note, that sweet. Ooh. That it's a complex, uh, sweetness, not just sugary sweetness. There's a barrel tannic, and there's a little more meat to the back end of this one. This is. Um, this is way more rich. It, rich, yes. Than a typical Jameson I'm used to. It may just because be standalone has nothing to do with the Chinese food. Just standalone. This is just a really rich whiskey. It compared. is okay. Because so um, if I, it, I'm always imagining traditional Jameson drinking this, no. Yeah, it, this is not as smooth as like Caskmates, which tastes almost creamy. Mm -hmm. But it is more complex. Rich, rich and vibrant. It is rich. Complex. It's like a dark chocolate kind of rich where it's got slight bitter notes to its richness. Now we're not a thousand miles away from Irish whiskey. I mean you still have the same uh, butter the, biscuit. Yeah, the same arc of flavors but um, now they're just better flavors. This is a combination of three pot still whiskeys and one grain whiskey. Mm -hmm. three, three to one pot ratio still. of pot still to grain. To grain, okay. The um, And that's different than regular I said? Uh, the, the bottom shelf Jameson, I think, is almost all grain whiskey. Speaking of shelves, can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see this. No, you can't see the wall. You can't see the wall? No, we've got 200 and something whiskeys on this wall over here now. Yeah, look, look at oh, you're going to ruin everything. Look at this. Right here, look, we got this, go, this wall goes all the way down the entire room. Oh, sweet lord. All the way down the entire room. So now you only have, I counted, now you only have 52 whiskeys on the floor. Uh huh. <laughs> Dude, this doesn't exist anymore. This <laughs> This is getting weird. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this whiskey is no longer made. It's discontinued. I will not be denied a mooching. Or at least I think it is. Ah! <laughs> How did I not see that coming? <laughs> Man, that super elaborate plan just backfired on me. I'm getting rid of the whiskey now. Oh, God, this is a healthy pour. Mm. Okay, so one of these pot stills is 8 to 10 year old American oak. One of it is 10 to 20 years ex bourbon. Yeah. And one is 10 to 12 years ex sherry. Right. And the 8 to 10 is virgin American oak, so it may be a new barrel for a fourth of this. Yeah. And the grain is aged mainly in ex bourbon with some virgin oak as well. So I'm gonna tell you this. I'm a few minutes into this. Mm-hmm. 
And some whiskeys, they are from beginning to end, they don't lose a step. They're just as vibrant from the first sip to the last. A tremendous amount has been lost. This is starting to level out. It is starting to level out, but that a first, the first initial <laughs> um, uh, wave of flavors, fantastic. So I'm getting used to it, and now it's just kind of okay. You know the whole thing we're talking about with your brain, the way your brain works is as quick, as quick as possible your brain tries to ignore things. Yeah. That's actually your brain functioning correctly. So uh, if you had an apartment where you have really loud street noise, when you first move in, you won't be able to sleep, but within a few months, it's background noise. Yeah. And then you go camping, and you're like, oh my god, it's so quiet. I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, so whiskey is very similar, which is first introduction to something will be a pattern, mm -hmm. right? And then some whiskeys will change and get complex and introduce new things. Some, they do the same thing every time. Right. And so by the fourth or fifth sip, your brain's like, oh yeah, I already got this. Mm -hmm. Because it's looking for something new and not finding it. Still very nice, but that richness is toned down a lot. It is. There's no the complexity is toned that down. That bite, a lot. that bitter bite that I was talking about at the end, it's gone now. Yeah. What did you want to compare this to? Um, I didn't really. No, oh, just the uh. just the standard Jameson. Just the standard Jameson. Ah, uh, okay. Just to compare, you can bring the bottle. No, no, I'm in protective mode now. Hmm. <laughs> Way more acetone, nail polish, yeah. and thin. Huge difference. Yeah. Really uh, easily 40, 50% different mm -hmm. in, in the Jameson spectrum, right? Not in the all scotch spectrum. Yeah, it's very different. Um, even though I've acclimated to the gold reserve, is that what it is? Now when I came back, this it's is still, back to bitter again. The Even though I've back acclimated bitter. to the gold reserve, once I go back to the traditional Jameson, mm -hmm. the Gold Reserve is a better whiskey for yeah, me. Just flat out. Yeah. All right. Well, rock and roll. You oh, got did, comments oh, yeah, over yeah, there? Yeah, you, yeah. you hid with they're, your damn Chinese they're plate? Under, they're under my food here. Wide 123. That's such... That's some Stepford step Wives body snatcher shit right there. Oh, yeah, when you were being positive. Creepy. Right? <laughs> bad touch. Bad <laughs> touch. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I went and watched some of those episodes. It's odd. It's like, who is this? Who is this? <laughs> Did you see how he flinched? Yeah. <laughs> like I show what you're going to do here. <laughs> the last time I gave you a high five, you got to... That's true. It went straight for the forehead. Yeah. Uh, Sean W. So you guys are getting pins from staves from used whiskey barrels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, great. Hence contributing to less barrels being sent to distilleries in Scotland, Scotland for their whiskey. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> to be aged in. Uh, if there is ever a shortage in scotch or prices go up, we know where to start. The pins put him over the top. Mm, he snapped. So what? We're contributing to a loss <laughs> in the whiskey industry. Yeah. So what would you write first with those pins? Apologies or wills? <laughs> uh, Actually, I like that one. <laughs> so you would probably do a will. Um, I would write a will. And I would probably. Uh, he would sketch a middle finger. Yeah. It would not be an apology. <laughs> Here's your apology. Uh, probably another check your local liquor store for a few more bottles. All right. Yes. Thank you for the Rock pins. Rock and roll. Thank you for the pins. Uh, and the person who ball busted us about the pins. Yeah. Thank you for the ball busting. Thank you. Yeah. Bringing us back to our, our normal. I appreciate that. And all is right. Yeah. The world. pendulum swings down to the middle again. All right, well, that's all I got on Jameson. You really want a hug, don't you? No. You're hinting. No. You just... I'm gonna do the toast. You're making me uncomfortable. This, you're looking at me. I can see it in the <laughs> screen. And... You see me lean. Yes, I can't do. It. So here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.